There are three things tax-wise to always remember about revocable trusts. Uh, my name is Philip Bruce. I'm an estate planning attorney at Stone Arch Law Office here in Minnesota. And, uh, and the first thing to remember about a revocable trust, a revocable trust, remember, it's, it's, a, it's an entity that's kind of like a Ziploc bag. You can put stuff in, you can take stuff out, you can change it, you can terminate it, you can do whatever you want with it, it's still yours. And what that means is, is there really aren't any tax consequences, but there's also no tax benefits. Number one, it has nothing to do with estate taxes. I've had folks say, well, if I get it into a trust, then we're not going to be subject to taxes at death, these estate taxes or inheritance taxes, and that's not true. There are tools within it that we can use to mitigate these. We can do that with a will as well. Wills go through probate, revocable trusts skip probate. But the trust itself isn't something that's going to help you skip estate taxes. Uh, the tools within it can, just like a will, it's the same plan as a will but they're not by themselves uh, a shelter for estate taxes. Number two, they have nothing to do with income taxes. There has been some statements made to me in the past that if I put my accounts into my revocable trust and they're kicking out dividends, interest, etc., that I'm not gonna have to claim that as income tax or that it's somehow gonna be taxed at a better rate. Not true at all. It goes right to me. It's still taxed under my social security number. It is a see-through entity. Nothing about capital gains, dividends, interest, et cetera. If I have a business in here or a rental property in here or something, that has nothing to do with any sort of tax benefits or consequences. It just goes to my taxes or my social security number, my, my personal taxes as it would anyway. It's invisible. And, uh, and lastly, it has nothing to do with property taxes. Uh, sometimes there's a, there's a concern that if I take my home and I put it into my revocable trust so that my house will not go through probate, real estate is the number one thing that causes probate. So if we can get that into a revocable trust, uh, oftentimes that's really our only thing that's going to cause a problem and we can fix it uh, with this trust planning. But there's a thought that if my trust owns it, uh, maybe I'm not homesteaded anymore. Maybe I don't get my homestead taxation. Not true. There's a statute on the books that says that a, a, a home owned in a, in a revocable trust is still owned for homestead purposes. Every now and again, we'll get a county Ramsey, by the way, is the big culprit here. We'll get a county that says, hey, you changed ownership. We need a new homestead application to show that you still live here. And that's fine. It's a one pager. It's easier to, easy to do. Um, but it doesn't change anything about your property taxes, your income taxes, or your estate taxes. I'm Philip Bruce at Stone Arch Law Office. If you have any questions, please shoot me an email.